So today we've got the artists that are a part of the Artists' Brigade with The Only Animal. I have been showing people today how to process stinging nettle and we've been talking about the stories of cloth and where clothing comes from and thinking about how plants like stinging nettle have this strong history all across the northern hemisphere that link all cultures as a shared cultural tradition in clothing ourselves, for some places making fishnets such as here. We're looking at how we look to ancient technologies with fibers as kind of a way of tying the past into the present and finding new ways forward. Um, cotton is my ancestral cloth and I did a lot of research on indigo and I grow it. So I was just going to ask if you can share, any of you want to share what your ancestral cloth may be? And That's a big part of what I've been exploring, is looking at the cloth traditions, the relationships to plants and animals, and the material processing uh, perspectives coming from uh, those traditions. It's teaching myself how to weave on warp-weighted looms, which is the style of loom that my ancestors would have been using in Scotland. And I feel it is the most incredible moment of joy of like tapping into not just our own ancestors, but to the, the ancestral lineage of all makers who have come before us. This panel through here is probably about 90% nettle. There's a little bit of flax and there's a little bit of hemp in the... Um... You're making rope! Isn't that incredible? I spent so much of my time thinking about the climate emergency, it felt really good, uh, really direct to make a rope, this small thing um, to help bind us together and towards a more sustainable future.